Hi guys, it's me how to fix again. If you are facing multiverses, application error, and the message on the screen, the application was unable to start correctly. Then this video is for you. Method 1. Run SFC scan. Press Windows key, then type CMD. Now, right-click on command prompt, then select Run as administrator, then choose Yes. At the command prompt, type SFC, scan now. Scanning will take a few minutes. If SFC finds corrupted files and replaces them, restart your PC and check if the issue persists. Method 2. Turn off antivirus software. You can also try disabling your antivirus and then see if the error is fixed or not. The error might be caused due to your overprotective security suite or antivirus. It might be blocking your game from being launched and thus causing the launch error. Hence, turn off your antivirus and then relaunch the game. Check whether or not the error has stopped now. If you are able to launch multiverses without the launcher error, you can be sure your antivirus is the main culprit. Now, disabling your antivirus permanently is not recommended as it can invite viruses and malware to your system. So, add the multiverses game to the exception or exclusion list of your antivirus to fix the error. Method 3. Verify the integrity of game files. Open Steam, then navigate to Library. Now, right-click on Multiverses, then select Properties. Next, select Local File, then choose Verify Integrity of Game Files. Once done, try play the Multiverses game again and check if the problem is fixed. Method 4. Make sure installed latest Visual C++ redistributable package. Press Windows key, then type Control Panel and select it from the results. Navigate to uninstall a program. Press and hold, or right-click, on the Microsoft Visual C++ 2015-2022. Redistributable x64, and uninstall, then follow the directions on the screen. Do the same with all versions. Once done, you need to restart your computer. When restart done, visit this site and download latest Visual C++ redistributable package, then install it. Finally, run Steam as admin and start the game normally. Method 5. Uninstall and reinstall the game. If none of the solutions above has worked for you, it's time to uninstall and reinstall the game. When you uninstall software, app, game, it will delete all the game data and files. By this trick, the corrupt files related to the game will also get deleted. That's it, guys. I assume this guide was helpful to you.